When I was writing this speech, I was struggling to start a bit about my wife, Alice. How can you put into words how much one person means to you and how much you love them? Me and Alice share a lot of things in common, but one of the main things is how much we get asked for our IDs. Between us, we've been asked for ID for petrol, Tesco home shops, WD-40, <laughs> an ankh killer. My favourite, however, is when one guy knocked on our front door and asked if our parents were in. <laughs> so this wedding serves two purposes. Not only do I get to marry Alice, but I'm also hoping the wedding rings make people realise we are in fact older than 16. <laughs> On behalf of the bride and groom, the County Durham Registration Service and of course the staff and management here at this most delightful venue, may I welcome everyone to Dalton Old Pump Pants. Today is a very special and of course memorable day. And Rhys and Alice have clearly taken a considerable amount of time and care preparing for it. Who's this? <laughs> I told you it would be funny. You mean my beautiful daughter, aren't you? <laughs> you look absolutely... Can I, uh... Yeah. Can I? Be very careful. Mm -hmm. Love you. Darling, you look absolutely beautiful. Now, are you all right for the day? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I feel good. We'll be good, We've yeah. seen Reese. I've seen Reese. Is, is he all right? He's... He's... He's good. A little bit nervous, but is he's he? all right. He's okay. good. Marriage brings together not only two people who are in love, but two sets of family and two sets of friends. So the presence today of your chosen guests shows you both just how much you are loved and supported. From this day forward, I promise to love and cherish you, protect and care for you, hold and comfort you, and to be your friend always. I will share all my hopes and dreams with you and treasure the time we have together. Today I give you all that I have to give, a lifetime of love. I promise to give you my love and friendship, to be there for you when you need me most, to confide in you, to trust, comfort and support you in everything you do. I will be your partner and friend for life. Reese and Alice are now the only one remaining, but I have to say it's the most delightful official duty, and that is, of course, to pronounce you husband and wife. And in that time on a tradition, would you like to share a kiss? Congratulations. Alice came to me one day and said, Dad, I've met a lovely lad called Reese, and he's from Darwin. Well, I immediately thought he was one of them overseas students from Australia. I was imagining surfing on the Great Barrier Reef, Barbies and Tinnies, one go. You can imagine how delighted I was when she said, No, Dad, Darwin in Lancashire. When I first met Reese, I knew in my bones he was the man for our Alice. A kind, considerate, 
intelligent, handsome young man. At least that's what he appeared like to see. <laughs> Joan aside, myself and Alice's mum think that he is all those things and more, and we couldn't be happier with her choice. Our princess has had to kiss a few frogs before she finally found her prince. I'm so privileged to be stood here today next to my best friend and his beautiful wife. I think we'll all agree that they made the perfect couple. Alice, you're a tough now, which is massive news in the Darwin community. But most importantly, you're marrying into such a loving and caring family. Alice, you have the most beautiful soul, will do anything for anyone, and you're one of the most caring and selfless people I've ever met. Nothing is ever too much of an ask of you. You have a brilliant sense of humour and constantly make me laugh, often having very stereotypical blonde moments which only add to my amusement. You look so beautiful today and have done every day that I've known you. You're my best friend and I'm so proud and happy to now call you my wife. I can't wait to continue to make memories with you and I'm looking forward to, to spending the rest of our days together. Love you forever. <laughs>